mysterious tiny school where the students are bright, the teachers are certified, and missing children roam the walls while we all pretend to work. Welcome to LMS. Hello listeners, before we begin, I've been asked to read this short notice. The school would like to announce a new enrichment in room 115. Students are not allowed to join this new enrichment. Teachers are not allowed to teach this new enrichment. It is possible you hear strange noises coming from room 115. Do not listen to the strange noises. Do not enter room 115. The door is locked and highly impenetrable. Try not to listen to the noises coming from room 115, and especially do not listen to the whispers. Room 115 will not harm you. And now, the news. Max Dodd, out near the courtyard, says the rabbits r revealed their true selves to him, said they were giant, had large fangs, and could talk. Said they fed him the most delicious soup he had ever had. One of them said it was deer soup. He's offering a taste of the soup for $5. If you're interested, find Max at lunch. He sits in the corner table. A new student came into school today. Who is she? What does she want from us? Why is her, why her colorful and complex hair? Why her colorful and complex backpack? She says she's Canadian. Well, we have all been Canadian at one point or another in our lives. But why now? Why here? And just what does she plan to do with all those maple leaves and musical instruments in room 115? The one next to the library? No one recommends a good book like the library. No one. More on the subject next week. It's settling to be another rainy day here in Langley. I hope all of you out there have very little work to do, or at least good memories of when you did. Good day, listeners. Good day. <laughs>
Anyway, last week, uh, <clears throat> well, you spoke uh, to the world about uh, basically the weather. Yeah. And uh, here we are again. Yeah. And we still have uh, weather. So I was wondering, you know. Weather. Well, hey, uh, Mr. Leroy, maybe uh, I'll check back with you uh, after a while. All right. Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Duncan. Duncan? Yeah. Okay, first name, last name? Uh, my first name's Parker, last name's Duncan. Parker Duncan? Yeah. Terrific. Do you like that name? Uh-huh. I like it myself. There's two Parkers in our class, right? Yeah. In our class. Yeah. Parker. Charlie Parker? You know him? Yeah, he's me, like jazz. Jazz dude, jazz, big jazz guy. Well, he's dead, of course. All the good people are dead, right? <laughs> we need some new, some new good people. Yeah. You don't have a whole lot to say, Parker. No, but it's foggy out. We can't see that much. Seriously? Let me take the camera around this way and show the audience what you can't see. Where that boat is going, it's going to go out into the fog. We'll never see it again. That's a good story. I like it. Yeah. Maybe you could uh, write about that boat that's going off, never to be seen again. I'll write a poem again. about it. Yeah. yeah. You could call it what? What would you call that poem? The Lost Boat. The Lost Boat. Wow. I think we got some. Yeah. Let's take another look. Any last words, Mr. Parker Duncan? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, maybe goodbye? Yeah, that yeah. works. Goodbye. All right, see you later. Bye. Happy trails. Yeah. No, you don't have to leave, I'll leave. Yeah. One day the boat will find it, and we'll find where it goes. You think so? Yeah. You're kind of optimistic. Yeah. All right. I'm sure it's probably just silly, but who knows? Well, you 